All right, hello everybody. Um, just doing a quick video um, of a playthrough that I did on assisted mode. Um, there's a question that everybody has on the forums that I keep seeing everywhere on the internet and stuff, and no one has really a straight answer for it. And that is how much money do you actually earn in a single playthrough of Resident Evil 4 Remake? And I have the answer for you. So I just did a run on assisted, and um, I did mostly what I could. Uh, I actually forgot to do, to do one of the uh, merchant requests. I actually missed it, but it's not that big of a deal. It was the uh, Uber Regenerator. I did everything else just for the spinals and stuff. So I didn't really maximize my spinals out, but I still found 93 of them. It probably would have been 101 or 100. But um, just to show you here, I played the game using the gold attaches case, and I got all the upgrades for it. So I spent about 110,000 pesetas just on that. And I bought the Magnum Ammo recipe for 7,000. Uh, just so I could craft, you know, make use of the uh, small resources and stuff. I did some math and I realized that crafting anything with the large resources, like the grenades and stuff, it isn't worth it. You're better off just selling the um, selling the large resources back to the merchant and uh, using all the gunpowder you have to craft magnum ammo because it's worth the most. Um, as you can see, I found all three rhinoceros beetles. Um, I didn't upgrade my health at all, but I found every single yellow herb in the game, and I mixed them with red and green uh, herbs to uh, maximize the um, cell value. I kept both golden eggs, but I sold one of them for the merchant request. Um, but I did keep the one from Salazar's throne room, just to show you. And uh, sold all my first aid sprays. I haven't sold any um, weapons or anything yet, but I'm going to do that. Um, but I did sell hand grenades, flash grenades, whatever. I just kept a few just to show you that I had a few left over. Um, I found all the treasures in the game. I opened all the drawers. I did everything. I looted all the boxes. I looted all the shelves, the drawers, whatever the hell there was. I hit all of the gold and silver bells that were hanging in the game. I literally left no stone unturned. I even double backed and went into some areas and more enemies had spawned there. And I killed them and collected their pesetas, which was only about like, you know, roughly a thousand or two in each room um but just to maximize like to min max how much money you can actually make in a single playthrough um the charms i used to do this were the um leon with the shotgun so that when i would sell ammo i'd get plus 40 percent more um money for it and then i used the rhinoceros beetle for to double the uh, amount of recovery items uh, how much they cost it when you sold them so one of those uh, yellow green herb concoctions are normally worth about 10,000, but they're worth 20. And I've sold a bunch of them, like 15 or 16 of them. And then I use the cute bear for negative one gunpowder used when crafting. So that it would just, you know, over time, I'd get another batch of Magnum ammo or whatever. But the most important thing was the, using the gold attache case because it increased the drop rate for pesetas. And I went through the entire game uh, not using any healing. I saved everything. Um... Yeah, I didn't even upgrade my health or nothing. I used the Chicago. I didn't upgrade any guns, any weapons. I turned the volume off, actually, so in case you're wondering why you can't hear anything, because the merchant's so fucking annoying at this part. Like, he just keeps talking and talking. But, um, anyway, I didn't use any of these spinals yet, but I'm going to right now. Uh, so I'm going to buy this last yellow herb. I'm going to buy the Punisher. Anything that I can basically, like, sell for money, I'm going to buy it. I'm not going to buy the Attaché case. Um, I'm going to buy these treasures... Um, I actually might buy this gunpowder and sell it, but yeah, I think I might do that. Actually, I'm going to buy the TMP stock. I'm going to buy this. I'm going to buy the chalice, this thing. Um, whatever you do, do not buy the exclusive upgrade tickets because they're not worth shit. They're only worth like 10,000. So you're better off just buying velvet blues because they're worth about 2,500 each. So if you buy like, what is it? Four velvet blues. So four spinals as opposed to 30 spinals. You're not getting your money out of it. So basically, with the last um, 12 spinals, I'm just going to, like, pump out these Velvet Blues. Don't buy the exclusive upgrade tickets. It's not worth it. If you have the DLC ones that you actually paid money for, like like a fucking idiot if you did buy those, those are worth 80000 But these blue, they're the gold ones, but these blue ones that are in the game for these spinals, don't buy these unless you're actually using them on a, on a weapon. But if you're trying to save money, then don't buy them. Buy Velvet Blues instead. So anyway, that being said, I haven't sold any key items, so I'm going to do that. Actually, you know, before I start selling stuff, I'm just going to combine the um, this yellow herb here, do that real quick, and then I'm going to craft more magnum ammo. 
Um, shit, I thought I had a small resource. I guess I... Oh, yeah, I have to buy one. So I can buy a small resource off of him. So I'll buy one, because that's all I can do. And I'll just craft um, some more magnum ammo. There we go. Made four more bullets. So now, just to show you, just from picking up crap in boxes and looting all the enemies, I made 1.3 million pesetas okay so that's a lot um just from doing that now this is selling all of the key items so those are all the key items sold so it's not much of a difference but now we're going to start getting into the treasures so these are all the static treasures that you can't uh, fasten any um gems into so these are just like the ones that are worth whatever flat rate value boom 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 ornate beetles mendez's eye lip rouge antique camera and then i'm going to sell all of the velvet blues with that so that'll give you wow that's a pretty big jump so it's about six hundred thousand just from those static treasures then the rhinoceros beetles we'll sell those that gives us an extra 60k and now i fastened most of the treasures with the best possible gems like i literally went over this thing with a fine tooth comb um this was pretty much the best i could do with this so as you can see a triple bonus is much better than doing that so you're better off just doing a triple and uh yeah that's pretty much it you can't i can't really get any much better than this like this is pretty much also i can put a red barrel in this thing and then i can do like one of these and i can actually if i wanted to i could probably take this one out of this and do this with it and then put this one in here and increase the value even more so i got another 35k these are worth about 60k with the right gems in them and then these are the most these are good too these are these are the same thing do a triple gem with the elegant crowns it's 300k just for these crowns right here with the same gem socket gem socketed into them um you don't you you're pretty scarce on yellow diamonds those things are pretty rare same with the red barrels like i only got like one two three four five six seven eight nine what is it yeah like one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen that's not bad i found 13 of them in the whole game so but you need about 14 to kind of like really maximize it because these two things these two bangles i don't have red barrels for them so it is what it is and then yellow diamonds yeah there's like that you need to do like two playthroughs to get enough to put them all in there but anyway we're gonna sell all these treasures now selling them all just to see how much we get ornate 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 another ornate holy shit there's four of them so yeah it's like a million pesetas just for like selling all the treasures in the game and then the excess um gems now the gold chicken egg is only worth nine thousand normally but because i'm wearing the rhinoceros beetle it's worth double so that's 18k right there so there you go there's about 3.1 million pesetas in a single playthrough on assisted um now if you want to get really crazy and sell all your guns and all the accessories and stuff except for the chicago i'm not going to sell that um i mean it doesn't really matter i could sell it but just to show you these are all the hand grenades blah blah, blah. these are all the bonus dlc weapons actually i won't eh i mean it doesn't really matter at this point whether i include them or not i mean if you have them then you have them um now these are all the accessories sell all the accessories blah 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 blah, blah. And i'm not going to sell any of the charms because those are just yeah they're not even worth fuck all anyway so it's like but either way yeah about 3.3 mil yeah in a single playthrough that you could pretty much earn and that's if you don't do any upgrades and stuff um i mean i upgraded the attache case so that was 100k there so it's almost about 3.5 million um in a single playthrough of resident Evil 4 remake that you can earn if you min max everything but uh, yeah, I just wanted to uh, point that out to people that were having, you know, trouble saving money or wondering how much you actually make in a single playthrough. Yeah, you can make anywhere from like, it varies, but like, yeah, if you were to play the game with just the handgun and the shotgun and run through it on assisted, um, you could easily save about like 2.5 million pesetas, like easily. Like this is a little extreme because like I didn't literally, I literally didn't buy anything. Um, so yeah without buying anything in the game and selling everything you possibly can for the maximum amount you can sell it for you're gonna make at least three million so anyway and uh yeah just to add on to that video that i just made um there's actually a money glitch so if you've saved all of that money on assisted mode 
the 3.3 million or whatever it is and then you go to the merchant and you purchase a bunch of first aid sprays and then put them in storage as you can see here I maxed it out so I literally put 999 first aid sprays into storage and then I bought and filled up my entire inventory aside from my main weapon and my knife um, unassisted so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go beat the game and then we'll meet you back on a professional new game plus and I'll show you how much money you can actually earn on a new game plus right at the very beginning Okay, so as you can see, I'm on a new game plus right now, and I'm right at the very beginning. We just jumped out of the window at the first, very first lodge. The merchant's right here on a new game plus. He's not here on a new game, but um, as you can see, because we're on professional mode now, our healing items are worth a lot more, and because I already have the Renastrous Beetle equipped, um, which I can't access, actually. I can't, um, I can't get to the typewriter until much later, but... Yeah, so you can see that I have 999 uh, first aid sprays in my storage, and if I sell all of those, um, yeah, it's kind of insane. So yeah, I just literally like tripled my profit on that, if not more, and then if I sell the 46 that are in my inventory, it literally brings me up over 10 million, almost 10.5 million pesetas off of a 3.3 million peseta playthrough unassisted. So yeah, if you're having any kind of money problems, well, they're gone now. So anyway, I'll uh, check in the next one.